Greetings YouTube, Yellow Belly here again. Uh, I'm going to start this off on uh, PVC bows. Uh, as I said in the introduction, I've followed Nick, the backyard bowyer, um, many years ago when he had his YouTube channel and was amazed that, that you could actually make a high poundage, well, tied to me, uh, PVC pipe bow. Now, the one thing that's not covered and is what materials to use in the UK because Schedule 40, which is what Nick uses, um, is you can get it, but it's a, it's really expensive because obviously it has to be shipped over. Uh, so I thought I'll show you some I've made, uh, and it's not Schedule 40 and roughly the poundage, etc. Uh, I'll start off with this one actually. This is my one I made for my son. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, he's holding the camera for me again. Uh, this is roughly 54 inches long uh, piece of pipe and it's roughly pulling 35 pounds. Also I've got another one which is slightly longer. Uh, this is my bow uh, and it's actually a little bit heavier as well because I actually inserted one. Uh, I inserted a half inch pipe into a three quarter inch pipe uh, to reinforce it but I didn't want a very high poundage bow this one is again roughly 56 inches long piece of pipe uh, flattened and it's pulling about 40 pounds um, which is great for me it's got a little bit more weight to it which is uh, similar to a bow I, I'd actually picked up for free uh, I picked up a 44 pound Slazinger bow a while ago, uh, I found it on the side of the road, believe it or not. Nothing wrong with it, the string was broke, that was it. So I uh, picked it up, cleaned it up, and I've been, it's a uh, 44 pound, it's 28 inch, and it's a uh, roughly six foot bow. Great wood bow, and it, it does me. Uh, so, what PVC pipe to use? Now, there is various types of PVC pipe to use. The first thing you don't want to do is go to B&Q. Uh, because the standard, those standard pipes, they just shatter. You can try heating them up and no chance. No chance whatsoever. They, they just snap. They, they're brittle. It's the wrong type. Uh, so I actually use a company called uh, Cold Glow. Uh, Callister Glover and what I get and what I made those bows out of is called Class E PVC pipe or you can get various classes but Class E is the closest to Schedule 40 uh, I found but there's also another class uh, that's out there which I've just got hold of some uh, this is half inch pipe and if you can, I don't know if you can see the end of there. Thank you, sir. It's really uh, going to be experimental because I've never used this before. But it's obviously a thicker wall. Now, it's the thickness of the walls that make seem to make the poundage. Uh, I'll just give you an example. Half inch pipe in the UK is me it's actually half inch on the outside. It's um, but it's measured at on a half inch on class E is 1.9 millimeters. Now schedule 40 is 2.8 millimeters thick, and that class seven is four millimeters thick. So that's getting close to schedule 120, I think, uh, which is really really thick walled. So it's going to be interesting on what I can make out of them. Uh, Three quarter inch pipe, class E is t the walls are 2.2 millimeters as opposed to schedule 40, which is 2.9 millimeters, and class 7 is 4.1 millimeters. And then you go up to one inch. Um, I've tried using one inch bows before and I struggled with them. I find them they get a bit too wide and bat, bat like cricket bats. Uh, so, but I'll give you those dimensions anyway. They are uh, class E is the walls are 2.5, the schedule 40 is 3.4, so still not as thick as 
the smaller stuff I've got here. Yeah. The and class seven is four point nine. Now, as I said, I've never worked with um, class seven before, so it's going to be an experience. I'm not going to show you how I make them. There is that many videos on YouTube by Nick, uh, also Tim, uh, Pyatek, on how to create a jig and how to how to flatten PVC pipes. So I'm not going to cover that because it's it's done to death. Um, but hopefully I'm going to move along and show you uh, so, some technical data really. Uh, the differences between the Type E and the and the Class Seven, and we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll just see what happens. Should be should be good. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, and uh, catch you on the next vid.